Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another favorites video, my January favorites. As usual, January drug out for about six years, but I actually had a very pleasant January. It was very chill, yet productive. I've been enjoying the cooler weather. We've just had a fake spring here for a few days, so it was like 74 and delightful outside. But now we're expecting a bunch of rain. Why do I start videos with talking about the weather? I'm getting old. Just all that to say, I'm enjoying the cooler weather. I just had a really pleasant January, so I hope you guys did too. I am very excited for February. I love a holiday, I love a theme, and we're taking a trip. So I am very, very excited. It's a trip, like my ideal trip. So I'm very excited. How many times can I say excited? But today we're here to talk about all the fun little things that I've been loving throughout January. Today's is really random. We've got one nail polish, one skincare thing, one makeup thing, some home decor, a snack. I've got some Milo stuff, some random things as well. So it's gonna be a wild ride. Buckle up, get some tea, some water, whatever you wanna drink, maybe a snack. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Let's start with my very first favorite, which is this sweater. I love this sweater so much. This is from Gap. Now, Gap Factory, which is Gap's outlet, I believe, um, they have their own website. I know that they have like a Gap Factory store. There used to be one by our old apartment in Burbank. Uh, anytime I'm near it, I go in it because they have such good deals, but they also have kind of like the Kate Spade outlet, an online outlet. So Gap Factory kept feeding me an ad on Instagram for this sweater, but in a different colorway, a colorway that I like as well but I found this one in store and I totally love it. So this one is the full price. I think it's like $10 more, but so I will link both down below and I'll also put in a picture. I'm getting ahead of myself. So basically it's called like the split hem sweater because the hem kind of comes up a little bit high, which I think for me makes it like flattering. I don't love anything to hug my tummy. And I just, I love the fit of this sweatshirt. I love the pink of it. I love that it's warm, but not too warm. If I commit to wearing something and then I get too warm in public, I'm having a panic attack. And this hasn't done that for me yet. <laughs> I actually went to go see the Mean Girls movie, which was so fun. I went with my high school friends because we quote Mean Girls daily in the group chat, but we all wore pink and I wore this. I just absolutely love it. Really comfortable. I wear it around the house. I just love that it's comfortable yet I feel cute. So I will link this down below, but I will also below it link the Gap Factory version. I believe it's the exact same sweater, just in different colorways. I don't, I don't understand it, but that's just how it is. But this sweater has absolutely been a fave and also my headband. This is from Anthropology. I saw it in store once, but I didn't buy it. It's like, let me just think about it. And then I couldn't stop thinking about it. And then I couldn't find it for a while in store. I eventually found it in a different anthropology that I was in one other day. Um, but all this to say, I just looked it up and now it's on sale online. So if you're interested in it, it is $10 off, I think. But it's so cute. It's, I think they call it like the pearl crown. I love that it just has a little bit of height to it, but not too much. And it is actually pretty comfortable considering like, I don't know, I felt like it wasn't gonna be comfortable. But it is. I love clusters of pearls. My very favorite necklace ever is a cluster of pearl necklace that I got, I think also from Anthropology. I never wear necklaces, but I still have that one. I absolutely love it. Something about a cluster of pearls I just love. So I can link this down below as well. And then speaking of what I'm wearing, my nail polish. So this is OPI High Barbie. I have been filming some like Valentine's Day content, so I knew I wanted to give myself a pink manicure. And this formula is just so good. So I hadn't tried this yet. I've tried a few from the Barbie collection. You guys know that the High Ken polish was my very favorite polish of all of 2023. I talk about that in my 2023 beauty favorites. I can link that up in the corner if you missed it. But that formula was just like, the word that I want to say is delicious. Like it just was so creamy and opaque and like just so easy to do your own nails. I gave myself many manicures with the High Ken shade and this is now my second manicure I've given myself with the High Barbie shade. But it's just so easy peasy. Like two coats and you're done. A gorgeous, stunning, bright, hot pink. And I actually painted this on my nails the day that the Oscars came out and there was huge Barbie snubs. And I was like, I'm standing in solidarity. I'm gonna wear my Barbie polish. And it's pretty chip resistant compared to some other things. Like my nails chip quickly, no matter what, just because they do. I'm cleaning, I'm picking up, I'm doing crap. I have a toddler dishes washing my hands, but this and the Ken polish as well, both have held up really, really well on my nails. And I'm just loving the color. My one makeup fave is an old fave, but like I forgot how much I freaking love this. So we're talking about it. It's the Benefit Cookie Highlighter. 
It is so frosty yet understated. It's what I'm wearing today. And I just absolutely love it. I don't know if you can tell, but I've just been addicted to using this. I'm usually every day addicted to using my Charlotte Tilbury Gold Bar or Bar Gold highlight that they've discontinued, but I love it, but I always hate like wearing it on camera and talking about it because you can't get it. That one is a little more of like a golder champagne. This is still a champagne, but it's a little lighter. Perfect for winter. I just absolutely love it. So let me give you a swatch. Oh man, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Barely, but it is stunning. I also, you guys, I'm gonna be doing a beauty haul and I'm gonna be trying out a bunch of new makeup products here soon because I did return the Shark Flex back to Ulta. So I have so much money to Ulta. So I went to store the other day because I also had a great coupon, $15 off of 50, including Prestige, which was great. Prestige, I said that weird. So I went in store, but they didn't have a bunch of the stuff I wanted. So I'm gonna do an online order, but I also yesterday went to Ulta and finally I found it in person, one of their new highlights, like the Sephora collection highlight. This, I haven't tried it on my face yet. The swatch of it was so pretty. I cannot wait to try. I got one of the new Say blushes and one of their cute new spring colors. So stay tuned for a beauty haul. Pumped about that. And then skincare kind of beauty. This is the Aquaphor Lip Repair. My sister knows I'm a bitch for Aquaphor, but I just have the, like the big bottle. She was like, you need to try the lip version. And I don't know if the end result is any different. Like my lips feel like the same day to day. But this on my lips feels better as a lip treatment. It feels less like Vaseline, if that makes any sense. It just feels more moisturizing as I'm wearing it. I like the way it looks, gives like a little bit of a balmy gloss. I keep it in my purse. It's really easy to just throw in there. It says immediate relief for severely dry lips, which I do have. So I've been enjoying that. Let's talk about a snack favorite, you guys. It, they're gone. I don't have them to show you. I'm gonna have to insert a picture. Changed my life this month. <laughs> it's the Costco Kirkland S'mores Clusters. Holy shite, you guys, so good. I talked about them in my latest vlog, I can link up in the corner. I do like a whole little Costco like vlog and haul in it if you wanna check that out, but we do a taste test and I couldn't stop eating them. They are incredible. I mentioned in that video that last summer, Trader Joe's came out with s'mores clusters and they were so good, but they're impossible to find. They came back like one time during Thanksgiving and then they were gone again forever. I haven't seen them since. Hopefully the Costco ones, like I'm sure once I go back, they'll be gone, but I hope not because I'm gonna buy six bags. Not really, maybe two. But these were even better than the Trader Joe's because they had caramel in them. They were so good and they had more graham cracker and like more marshmallow, but they're like tiny marshmallows. Just trust me and pick up a bag. I miss them. I need to go to Costco immediately. Oh, also because Costco like sent, you know, they send their like flyers to your house. So many things that we buy are on sale this month. So we need to get our asses to Costco and stock up. While we're talking kitchen faves, the Peony Fiesta Wear has been a huge favorite this month. I mentioned those in my What I Got For Christmas video. I can link that up in the corner as well. But it's basically Macy's Fiesta dishware in pink that my mom got me for Christmas because she knows I'm always looking for the peony stuff. She got me, they're called the dinner bowls, but they're more like plates, but they're like really big plates with like a lifted edge. And then two of the pasta bowls. And just when I eat a meal in them, the meal is elevated no matter what it is. It's stunning. I love how big the like dinner bowls are. You have a lot of room on that plate. Cause I'm weird about like, if I've got a dipping sauce on there, I don't want things to cross contaminate. So it's nice to have more space. <laughs> and it just makes my meals look prettier. Like I just love them so much. I want to replace all of my stuff with them, but I don't know how Bradley would feel about all pink dishware. It's also just like unnecessary. My white Fiesta wear is totally fine. <laughs> I did a little reel on my Instagram of, I'm going to try and do this more, whether it's like a recap on Instagram story or like a reel, but the top five sellers of the month from my affiliate links, I love when other people do it. And I'm like, Hey, I could do that. I just figured out how to like look through and see what items sold best. Those plates were number three for me for the month that you guys loved and bought. So if you bought them through my link, thank you so much. That supports my family. I do make a very small commission. So yeah, you guys are clearly loving them too, but they're just stunning. So I will link them down below. Some more home decor stuff. I, I'm sorry, I feel like you guys are done with me talking about tapered candles, but I'm not done. But I'll be quick. These H&M ones, look how beautiful that colorway is, like green and pink. It's more so, I feel like for spring, like these will be perfect with Easter decor, um, but I do have them intertwined with my Valentine's Day decor. I just love the pink stripe throughout it. It's so cute. The H&M candles burn really, really nicely. And if you're not into this specific colorway, they have a couple others, so I'll link them down below. My other home decor fave, this is, so freaking 
cute. So to start off, Milo, I keep my uh, Polaroid Instax on my little shelf in my office and he knows, I've taken enough photos of him I guess in the past, he knows that it's a camera and in the last like month or so he's, he brings it to me every day and he says, cheese, he wants me to take his picture. So I take a Polaroid of him every single day. It has become my favorite part of the day. It is so cute. Usually he wants two and I'm like, okay, we'll do two, but I'm wasting so much money in film, but I don't care. Like your toddler, your child asks you to take a picture of them with a Polaroid, yet you do it. I'm going to love those photos in 10 years. I'm gonna cry over them every single day. And so I just have all of these insects and some of them are really cute. Like I'll jump in one with them or Bradley or like, it's just a really good one of him. I'm always keeping my eye out for cute ways to display Instax pictures. And this frame popped up from Urban Outfitters. How cute is it? You guys, first of all, I love a scallop. You guys know that. I love a wavy frame. I love the like periwinkle color of it. And I haven't put any photos in it yet because I couldn't decide. Like I have, we'll talk about it in a second, but I have a bunch of different like backgrounds of the Polaroid film, like the prints. And I can't decide if I just wanna go white or go with one of the colorful ones. So I'll play with it, but I just think it's so cute. You can stand it up on a desk or you can hang it on the wall. It's got little things to hang. It comes in this color and it comes in black. So I will link it down below. I love it. I think I might get the black one for my downstairs shelves. It's so cute. It is a little pricey for a shelf. I mean, like I'm used to buying shelves at Home Goods for $7. This is 29, but for like the nice quality of it and the waviness, like yes. And then speaking of Instax, I have this little one of Milo here. I'm trying not to show his face, but if you can see, it's little hearts all the way around it. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. I just picked it up on Instagram. Nope, Amazon. But it's just got little pink and red hearts all the way around it. I thought it would be really cute for like, I mean, I find it so hard. <laughs> I'm always like, if I'm sending somebody mail, which I bought little Valentines to send out to like Milo's grand mas and aunts and you know things like that and i'm always like oh we'll take a little picture and put it in but then it's a really cute picture and i can't part ways with it <laughs> so they get the weird ones that are like off center or he's blanking but whatever but if you're not as selfish as me and you want to send a little photo in the mail for valentine's day like the little heart ones would be so cute so i'll link those down below as well oh i have it on my list and i forgot to mention it in like the skin care skincare category but i've been trying some of the lush valentine's day stuff and i wanted to mention the two faves i've tried so far the bff bubble bar is so good so it's it's kind of like boring. It's just white, but it is butter bear, butter ball scented. It smells so good, creates incredible bubbles. I want to pick up another one, so I might. It's not quite as moisturizing as the butter bear ball bath bomb, but it does add some extra moisture to your bath. So I love that one. And then I was totally surprised that I loved, I think it maybe changed the scent or something, but the, the love bug, the little beetle, it smelled so good this year. It smelled like, um, like orange creamsicle, like sorbet, sherbet, sherbet. It just smelled so good. It was so lovely to watch. And I just was like, wow, I really enjoyed that more this year than past year. So I think they changed the scent. I still have a bunch to try. I want to film a reel of some of it. I finally picked up the one that I didn't have, which smells like the Christmas Eve bubble bar, which is one of my very favorite Lush scents. I picked that up yesterday. So I'm excited to finally try that and have that. But yeah, if you are um, passing by a Lush and wanting to check out their Valentine's Day collection, I loved those two that I've tried so far. And I love the Strawberry Bubble Rune as well from previous years. It smells so good and it works so well. Okay, and lastly, I have some Milo toddler favorites. So we obviously just had Christmas a month ago. So I have a lot of new toys I could talk about, but I'm just gonna try and talk about the two things that he really is loving. First up is I kind of underestimated him. I, I put on his list. I think his, uh, Bradley's mom gave it to him, but it's this Disney, there's this brand of Disney wooden toys. I think it's through Disney, but it's these wooden toys. We have a bunch of them and we love them. And they had these puzzles where it's kind of just character cutouts, but they like all mesh together. To be honest, it looked hard. I was like, I don't know if he's gonna enjoy this yet, but we'll see. It was for three plus. He's not quite three, but it's not, um, the pieces aren't choking hazard. So I was like, let him try it. He amazed me. He can do it all by himself. He loves it so much. And he's now taken it a step further that when he does it, he flips the characters on like upside down. So it's just the white backing and he looks for the shape. Like he's challenging himself. He might be a genius, you guys. What um, piece do you need next? Daisy. Um, Daisy. You need Daisy? Where's Daisy? A gun. Wow. That's Rapunzel. Can you find Rapunzel? Oh. Wow. Tigger. Tigger, can you find Tigger? 
But so the one that he got for Christmas is just kind of Disney characters, some princesses, Mickey, Pooh people. Pooh people. <laughs> You get it. <laughs> but he was loving it so much that I checked Amazon and there was a Marvel version and he's not into Marvel at all except for Spider-Man. He loves Spider-Man. Don't we all? But now he loves that one too. He has no idea who the characters are, but he's doing it and he does the same thing. He turns them on the white side and he, he searches for the shape he needs. If you have a child that likes puzzles, they will love this. It's a bit of a challenge, I think. And honestly, he, for the past week, maybe more, doesn't want to play with anything else. Like he is so focused on these puzzles. He likes to do them with me. He likes to do them by himself. Like it will buy me like 20 minutes of time to do the dishes when he's just focused in the puzzle. He'll do it, he'll dump it, he'll do it again. So I will link those both down below. I will say the one we've had longer is a bit scratched, but also Milo is like really rough with everything. <laughs> like he's a he's a rough toddler, you know? So uh, I don't know, but they're not like scratched so bad that it's not worth playing with them. Just, just a warning but it also is like a cheapy puzzle. And then the other toy he is loving that he got for Christmas was the Little Tykes or Fisher Price, I never know. But it's like the Disneyland playset and it came with Mickey and Minnie. I then later ordered on Amazon, they have a set of six of like the Disney character little people, like, you know, like the little things that you can like, they have the holes on the bottom, you can stick them in things. Um, So I ordered that. I gave Mickey and Minnie to my niece because Milo already had them, but it came with Daisy, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. Just to, just to round out his Disneyland experience. And it is so cute. It comes with an attachment that's the Dumbo ride that it can go up and then it spins down and it has little seats so two of the characters can sit in it. It has like a little table. His favorite part of it is um, Mickey sits in this car and it pushes down a ramp and he passes through something and he talks to you. Like he's just been loving that toy. So if you have a kid that loves Disneyland, Mickey, Minnie, all that, it's a great toy. I will link it down below. I think it's like 50 bucks. I did get it on sale for like $15 off, but even full price, like it's a great toy and he loves it. And I will also link the like expansion pack of the little people. If, if you just want those, you don't want the whole Disneyland set because those are super cute too. And then quickly when I was at Gap and I got this, I was looking at their toddler PJs. They're so nice. I, I never buy them because they're so expensive unless they're on a deal or if I'm at like Gap Factory, but the quality of them is so soft and nice. Um, and I picked him up these cute little milk and cookies. The first time I put this on him, he was so, it was right after Christmas and he was so used to, um, we listen to super simple songs and there's a song about milk and cookies. And she eventually says something about carrots for the reindeer. And he was looking at like his pants because it has the same pattern. And he asked, where's the carrots? <laughs> he frightens me with how smart he is. I also like, I've never had a child. I have no experience with children. I don't know how smart they're supposed to be, but like he, I, I guess I underestimate him. He's so smart, um, but they're just so cute and they wash so well. I got, the only reason I got them was because it was like a deal, like buy one, get one free or buy two for some, 20, $30, something that made it worth it. Cause like I said, they're so expensive and I, so I never buy them. We got another pair that was um, a bunch of stripes, but those are in the wash actually right this minute. I feel like this is really bright. Hold on, there we go. But those are in the wash as we speak. And also they weren't available online. So I didn't want to like tease you with them, but they have a bunch of cool prints. If there ever is that buy to deal again. And also like Gap and Old Navy are owned by the same people. And I always get his stuff from Old Navy. Just that they just feel a little softer. You know, but Old Navy is still great. We just moved up a size because he got so tall overnight, I swear, like nothing fit him. And I'm usually prepared and I had nothing. So we like ran to Old Navy and I've just been trying to stockpile some things. So everything I just bought him is mostly from Old Navy, some from Carter's, but I, the Gap PJs are just so nice. There's a Disney character pair that I want so bad, but it's $35 and I'm just like, I can, I will not, I will not, but I'll keep an eye out if it goes on sale. But okay guys, that is it, I think. Let me check my little list here. Yep, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will have everything linked down below. The things that I can link will be there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll have my little face where you can click and do so. But I have some fun chatty videos this month. My meal prep video that I've been talking about forever should be this month. That beauty haul, like I said, I need to do an empty, some more vlogs. And like I said, we're taking a trip. So maybe travel prep, of course, a vlog of the trip. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you very soon in the next one and I'll talk to you later.